Well, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, the Stoic Reseller, and I'm back with you with a kind of a different style to this. So I'm, I'm actually testing the private stores, private thrift stores that buy their inventory and don't rely on, on uh, donations to see which ones are better. So I, I actually went to a different uh, state visiting family, and uh, I spent a lot of time thrifting just to see how it goes. And Fortunately, down there, they have a, a ton of private thrift stores, um, and I know which ones are better than others because I've been there a little bit before here and there, but I'm really trying to create a route to be more efficient, and so I'm kind of giving this a challenge. Uh, the first day, which you will see here in a few minutes, or not minutes, a few seconds, stick with me, is only private stores. So we're gonna sh you're going to see what the, my buy cost, the, uh, the average amount of items I can get, I think I was able to hit four or five stores. Uh, they're just generally larger than the Goodwills, so it takes me a lot longer to get through them. Good stuff I found. You know, just giving you some forewarning. Um, you know, really good stuff. Pay attention to the brands. I have some cool insights. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and here we go. All right, another thrif thrifting trip. I'm in a completely different state. Uh, hitting up some private thrift stores, not Goodwills. You can see here I got 20 items. Really, it's 19 because I got some cool fruit snacks. But look at that buy cost. This is why I love coming down here. Um, now, I did spend too much time in this store. But let's quickly go over what I found. Guys, All Saints. I paid uh, half of this. All Saints is pretty solid. Uh, also, I'm probably going to jump on the bandwagon of stop buying this brand. But when you get patterned, really good uh, like materials... And you get a decent buy cost, six fifty. dollars uh, That's an easy $25. Did find some shoes, guys. Look at these. Do you guys know this brand? I do. Uh, it is Vessi. See there. Uh, paid 25% off of $15. These will sell for $50-ish, maybe? I found two pairs. You can see the other pair here. Are these Allbirds? I get 30 to 35 for these, and I paid six. That is a really good deal. They are a little small, so maybe they'll take a little bit longer to sell, but I'm not overly concerned about it. I paid 75% off of that for some Viore ripstop pants. Um, I know $15 is a lot to pay for that, but you know it's hard to turn that down. 75% off of this as well. So uh, is that 450 um, for 511 Tactical? I get 20 to 22 dollars for that. Uh, this was a major score. Half off of that, so $7.50 for Holderness and Born. Uh, this brand, guys, is absolutely stellar. Uh, let's see what's in the other bag. Oh, here's those fruit snacks I was telling you about. I can't wait to try those. Wounded Warrior, anytime you see that with Under Armour, um, you're going to buy it. I did pay up 6 bucks, but hat's in great condition. Just needs a little wash. We are going, we are really excited about that. You're going to see some cool ties here, guys. So we obviously got Donald J. Trump. One caveat with this, though, is brand new with tags. Did pay 10 bucks, but this monochromatic striped will be about $30 to $35. Uh, here's a major bolo, guys. Major, major bolo. Drake's London. This is a wool blend tie. Drake's London is just a generally good brand, and their ties are excellent. I'm expecting about $50 to probably $70 for that. Zegna. I always buy all Zegnas. This one's a little bit different than I've seen, um, but I price them at 25 and they tend to sell pretty good. Uh, J. Crew. I like to buy J. Crew ties as long as they got like a cool, like different material or different pattern. Flamingos. I, I price it at 20 bucks. Um, the thing with ties, guys, is comps are kind of sometimes tough to figure out because you can't just find the same like design and, and base it off of that. Uh, Arcteryx. Now, they didn't. Uh, they price everything else up at the store, as, as you've seen. Five dollars, very good. Um, did find one hard good item. I was really looking, guys, but these Microsoft mice do well for around, uh, you know, ten to eleven plus shipping. Did get this for twenty five percent off, eight dollars for some cool radical pants. No, actually, they're shorts. Yeah, these. 25% off. Uh, I will pay up a little bit for these. These are the stretch Zion pants in really good condition. Let's see, I got a couple more items in here. Paid five. They'd missed this. This is Lululemon, as you can see by the zipper there. I'm not, I can't remember what these are called, but 
they do have some condition issues, so I'm expecting still around $25 for them. At least that's where I'm going to price them. And then the last item is 25% off of this cool shorts. These are one of the nicer shorts. And to be honest with you, that's a large. I might keep these. They might be a little short, though. I don't know. They're, they're kind of nice. But yeah, anyways, guys, on to the next store. All right. It's day one, store two. I, you know, we got eight items here for, you can say I have to pay tax. So $50.80. I don't know if I explained this in the first part, but I'm only going to private thrift stores today. Tomorrow will be nothing but Goodwills. So the eight items here, we got a Masters 2023 hat. Brand new with tags. I did pay up. Um, they do have discounts at the store. I missed a 30% off day. So uh, that's okay. I'm not going to be in the area during that time. You can see I paid uh, $3.49 for this Nintendo OEI AC adapter. Uh, you know, it sells pretty strong. It doesn't have a 100% sell through rate, but it's still like... 15 plus shipping so not too bad uh, i buy these all the time especially you know a 2.99 uh, ll bean these are the river driver henleys these are really strong you get about 25 ish dollars for them ten dollars for these built active joggers these are very strong at like 45 dollars this is a good brand but i'm going to explain something to you guys so 449 it is wa maker very very good brand if you ever find this uh it's got this band collar that's what this is but i'm going to show you it's got some stains there it's got another stain somewhere else but um it's a small and it's got it's like a denim feel to it uh even with those stains i think the brand's strong enough i could probably get about 25 to 30 for it 429 i got this foot joy shorts size 40 in this navy blue really good shape actually uh you know, the, the foot door shorts, I still sell them. They, they get about 20 bucks, and so if you're paying under $5, that's a good value. Tommy Bahama, before I show you the size and what I paid for, uh, do you see this pattern? I mean, this pattern is one of the better Tommy Bahamas I've ever seen. So there's a, a bonus. The second bonus is I only paid $5. And the third bonus is, can you see that size? Two extra large. Woo! getting that's a good that's a good pair that's a good shirt probably like 30 bucks 35 bucks 399 you should already tell viore um some women's or actually i think these are the men's rip stop short really good there probably like 35 bucks there was another viore item there but it was way too damaged way too far gone 499 for rain spooner i buy almost all rain spooner as long as it's in good shape and this one actually has like these cool baseball patterns to it um you know probably not more than 25 dollars but still good stop um taking my time today because i only have five stores to go to the next store is kind of across the city here it's like 20 minutes away but it's another of the first store that i went to and then i'm gonna be going where I, back to the city i'm staying at with family and they have two private stores there so you'll see three more stores here uh and it'll only be like a half a second for you Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, so that's what my fourth store day one. Let's see here, I got tw I paid twenty four forty six. Uh, it was a one, two, five items. So the buy cost at least is really awesome. But these private stores are not paying off, and you know I've been to these before and they've done pretty good. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We'll you know be doing a lot tomorrow. Um, this is a Kahala. But there's a couple things. Kahala is not the best brand. Uh, I like the print. It's one of these polo ones. And if you can see down here, uh, maybe you can see it better here. You see how it's kind of washed out in the front, but really nice on the inside? That's by design, guys. That's called a reverse print. And it actually commands a little bit more money. Uh, you can see I got some board shorts. Uh, I've been stacking up or piling in the board shorts for April. Uh, but Fair Harbor is one of the better brands. You typically can get about, you know, 25 bucks for these. Uh, so $6 isn't bad. $7, uh, there's some wear, and I don't know if that's factory or whatever, but it is seven for all mankind dojo jeans. I don't look at women's jeans, like at all. Uh, these just happen to poke their head out. Uh, I saw the little back pocket there, and I was like, oh, sweet. $3, again, guys, um, you know, Trafalgar. This is 
like a nylon it feels like um leather really high quality suspenders and believe it or not guys i mean it does it, this used to have 100 percent sell through rate way back in the day but you know when you're paying three bucks into 20 it's a quick sell guys and the last thing i got here and i have time for one more store because traffic in this godforsaken state is atrocious but anyways, you can see this is Guy Buffett Collection by Rain Spooner. Uh, you're going to look this up. I paid $3.49. You're going to be like, ah, it's not really all that great. And you're probably right, but uh, Rain Spooner is a brand that I will buy pretty much everything in, uh, top-wise, as long as the pattern's really good. You can see it's like a wedding. Uh, so, But typically with Rain Spooner, just make sure it's... You could pick up the basics, but if it's a collab with someone, it's typically a lot better. Um, price is around $25 and maybe get lucky. Uh, but the next store is literally like five minutes away from here. It is another private store, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll see you in a second. Yeah, day one, store three. You can see I got five items for thirty-four fifteen. Not going so great. It's about four o'clock, and I might got another two to three stores to go. But we'll we'll get through it, guys. Um, yeah, you'll see some ufos. Just got to get them cleaned up uh, for six bucks. I mean. These stores I've been going to have been incredibly expensive, so when you find good stuff like that on the cheap, you're a happy man. Now, I'm surprised, because I, I could tell that this store is heavily thrifted, and, like, why are these here? This was 25% off, but I'm not going to complain. That That is an amazing find, and to go with it, I found a shirt. I mean, the shorts are probably, like, 35. The shirt's probably, like, maybe 30 to 40. Uh, maybe I'm off a few like five bucks but hey you know can't compete or can't can't compete yeah I can't compete down here I can't complain um, now this is a cool brand so Trafalgar is a suspender brand it's very high-end uh, now this it's just your standard red um, I don't think I'm gonna get a million dollars for it but when you pay you know what is that 25% off of seven uh, you're, you know, you're pretty happy with that. It, it's probably going to sell for like 20 to $25. But if you can get the ones where the band is patterned, uh, I, like I've found uh, in the past a couple like nautical ones and everything, they can go for like 40 to 50 bucks. Sometimes even higher if you get some of like, like a, sometimes it's silk or, uh, you know, there's other uh, like limited editions and things like that. All right. And the last item is a Peter Millar vest. Did pay ten dollars, but it's a it's a stand it's a modern one, um, and I have had luck with Peter Millar modern vests for like thirty bucks, thirty five bucks. So yeah, well we'll see what the next two to three stores have to offer, and um, yeah, see me in a second. All right, so you got the recap. Um, we're at the recap rather. So we were able to hit five total stores. You can see all my receipts there. I don't have a, a number or anything like that because I wasn't keeping track and I forgot my dang notepad at home. Uh, but some thoughts. So initially this thrift trip, I wanted to see specifically what these private thrift stores who basically have to pay for their goods or get some donated versus Goodwill. And so tomorrow will be all Goodwill. And I can hit many more Goodwill stores tomorrow because there's many more available. And where I am at, the th stores are a lot smaller than the ones where I normally go. So typically I can hit these about an, an hour, less than an hour or less uh, per store. And there's more available to me in a shorter distance between each store. Uh, so tomorrow should be a lot better today. Um, I think I, I really only got maybe around 40 to 45 items today. Um, it's not so good. Uh, it's really bad. It's really frustrating. But some thoughts on private thrift stores. So the, the, the draw to them is you can see my buy cost. I would imagine my buy cost is really close to five, uh, 6 to $7 maybe. And that's probably, you know, pushing it. And that's really good. That's honestly where, you know, if I can keep my buy cost between everything including Goodwill, I would love that, right? Because that'd be literally about $3 and so cents off my normal average cost of goods. And you factor that in over hundreds and hundreds of items, it's a lot of money. Uh, but the problem I'm having is I can clearly tell 
that people are just shredding these stores. Uh, one, they're not very organized. Uh, some of them. Two, they are they are packed with resellers. The first store I went to that I got like 20 items had at least six or seven resellers. Now, I don't know if any of you guys ever do this when you go to to resell uh, to these thrift stores and you notice people. Um, I I look at other resellers and I see what's in their carts, and so sometimes I just wonder how good a reseller they are, like how long they've been doing it. You know, are they new to the game? Because some of these people are just they just don't have good stuff. But anyways, um, you know, going to the hard goods, I only found two things, very two really mediocre, cheap things. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to have found them. Uh, I also found more extra credit stuff, or like what I, in my stores, considered extra credit. Shoes, blazers, belts, and ties. I uh, found quite a bit of that today. Um, all really good stuff. See, and that's the other thing today, too, is, is I didn't overextend and try to buy garbage stuff. I stayed true to what I'm trying to do moving forward, which is buy more high-end quality stuff uh, instead of just the everyday kind of like bread and butter stuff, like Under Armour polos, um, such as basic Nike shorts. Uh, I, there's plenty of them out here, and the problem is, is that you know the, the salty rate's kind of meh. They only sell between fifteen and eighteen dollars, and uh, yeah. And my final thought on this, uh, or I have two more thoughts. The second thought is, I'm not able to find what my store thrives on, which is outdoor brands, activewear brands, and high-end men's fashion. Uh, a lot of that is absent out here. Uh, where I'm at, there's not a lot of outdoorsiness to it. It's I mean, it's a town of like 65,000 people, and but it's mostly like a really interesting town with different cultures, you know, a lot of farm. It's just, it's, it's just not where I'm used to, and I'm not finding what I'm used to. So hopefully tomorrow turns out to be better. The final thought with the private thrift stores is I just don't think if this is your only like if you just don't like goodwill and you're like f goodwill i want to go to these private thrift stores because they're mon pa stores the prices are great personally at least the ones where i normally go the ones here they can be good sometimes but my experience is basically how it was today i spent a lot of time nine to it's like nine ten right now so 12 hours thrifting for 45 items. This is my experience. I'm doing this as a, as, the, as a test to me. I'm trying to whittle out the stuff. I want this to be a thrift route for me, but I have to whittle out the bad stores. And this gave me three bad stores to whittle out. So hopefully tomorrow gives me a lot of information of which stores are great to go to as far as Goodwills go. And uh, I'll be profitable. But yes, guys, I appreciate you watching part one of this. Again, my lovely editing software cannot handle 45 minutes of video. So I have to do this as a two-parter. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'll see you here in a second with my my breakdown, my like overall breakdown of day one uh, where I'm back at my house. So you'll see me right now. Alrighty, well there you have it guys. That was day one private stores. Again, uh, my my overall thoughts on the private stores is if you are, if that is your only way of making money or thrifting, you're going to have a hard time, at least in this area. Now, there could be better days to go and I just, I just don't know. There could be, um, you know, specific restock days that everyone goes. You know, I went on a Friday and uh, there was a significant amount of people there on a Friday. And I was able to get quite a bit of items from a couple of the stores. But a couple of the other stores were just really mediocre. Um, so it, it is what it is. You know, I, I wish I could have found more. 
uh, and maybe I do. Uh, I did leave those, some of these stores sooner than I wanted, uh, simply because they're just overwhelming. Uh, I, next time I do this, I will take some video of these stores. I mean, these stores are massive. Uh, the one I go to is probably the size of a, a super Walmart. And I mean, the, the, the men's is like 20 aisles long and just go on. They're double stacked and they just go on forever. It It's overwhelming just as a shopper and as a thrifter uh, to buy and s to sell on eBay and, and Poshmark. It was just insane. Uh, it, you know, and it, it does, it does wear you down after a few hours, you know, and especially, and it kind of makes you disheartened almost because you're not finding a ton of stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I did find 20, which is a good amount, but I spent like three and a half hours in that first store. So but yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. If you've made it this far, hit that like button, comment below. Did you learn anything new today? What are your experiences in your local area with your private stores? Do you go to private stores or do you go to Goodwills only? Let me know. But guys, until tomorrow on day two of this thrift trip where you're going to see nothing but Goodwill finds, remember to rule the day.